are you doing this Martin from Gardens for Life? I just wanted to show you guys the willow arches in the summertime, this is mid July now, and um, they have filled in nicely. We've actually had to do very little pruning on the inside of the arches, on the on the on the downside so to speak. And uh, you can see here they do grow quite tall out the top. Well these have been mulched and these have been in place now for um, about a year and a half now, but uh, the stems have grown to quite substantial trees now nearly, and hopefully the winds uh, will not damage them any further like they have about a year and a half ago when they were only nearly pl newly planted. And um, what I'm going to do here in the winter time is I'm going to top them, basically going to cut off with a, a petrol hedge trimmer, just cut them off here and that'll have them flush out again and uh, grow nice and bushy next spring. So here's another one of the willow arches, it's almost a tunnel, it's about two meters uh, long and um, when you, as you walk through you can see how it has filled in so these um, willows have been intertwined, like so, on both sides in the winter time. The branches seem to uh, be a little bit more flexible in the winter time. And you can see as the trees actually grow, they, uh, it helps to strengthen them. See, this is the kind of knot we use to tie them. Very simple. It's not even a knot, it's just basically folded in on itself and then back entangled back through. And it seems to hold them in place for long enough for them to um, to grow for the year. And um, it really does um, seem to stand up to some of the strong winds that we have here in Ireland. So here you can see, um, previously there was nothing here in the middle on our land behind the house and the willow arches kind of help to separate the land a little bit and just um, kind of divide it up and make it a little bit more cozy and uh, here's another one of the arches they're quite spectacular especially in the summertime but even in the springtime you have all of the the flowers the catkins coming out of the, the branches on top Definitely providing an awful lot of uh, insect food and especially a lot of um, native um, pollinators including the honeybee and all the other types of bees. But if you're looking to um, bring them in, bring all the insects into your garden uh, permanently <coughs> on a long term basis, it's definitely good to plant an awful lot of uh, different flowers and even trees that produce nectar for the insects like the willow do. Now one thing we like to do is plant a different color of willow on either side at the ends of each of the tunnels. Here you can see a, a yellow willow and there's another and on this side here we have planted some black willow which is only small so it's only starting off so we'll see Look at the thickness of the stems. That's only about a year and a half of growth plus whatever sticks went in the ground like so. Um, it's pretty good. Makes for a great, uh, a great uh, biomass accumulator too. If you want to cut it back in the summertime you can. And use the leaves and the branches as compost. That's fine too. Or in the winter time you can cut the top off and just use them as extra um, propagation material. You can plant them in the ground just by sticking them, basically that's all there is to it. And I'll show you the, the little willow tunnel that we have at the front. There it is there now. I'll have to show you guys a quick view of it in the winter time. And look at it now. 
what a difference, what a transformation. We didn't expect this to happen. We had some willow tunnels before and some willow arches too. This is basically the way leading up to our front door. I'll show you now. Let me just walk through down the step. Here is the two big uh, monkey puzzle trees. So this is the pad. So the postman basically has to come through here. I'll show you now. So kind of here, oh here's a butterfly bush as well. That's only just flowering now in the last couple of days. Lovely smell off it as you walk through. And also the wild roses here, the pink ones and the white ones on the other side too. So here is the gate. A little bit squeaky, better give that a bit of oil. So postman has to walk um, all the way through here, through this weather tunnel. Look at that. So it's like almost a bit of a dome right over our front door. Which hopefully even keeps a bit of the wind away. Not so much in the winter time of course. Unfortunately these are deciduous trees, but that's fine. It's definitely lovely in the summertime. I'm gonna simply top that with the petrol hedge trimmer and use the cuttings elsewhere. So here we planted some roses already. These have just finished flowering. That was um, that was a white and pink rose, and there's a yellow one over there. These are climbing roses, and so are these. Oh, that's just a wild rose. There's other roses here that are actually climbers, and we have them kind of trained. Started training them, like this one, to grow up the sides of the little uh, willow tunnel. You can do this on an arch too. There's a rose shoot. That's gonna grow all the way up over the top. I'll show you from the other side here. Yeah. So um, we're gonna cut them back a little bit and then uh, the roses and um, we're also going to plant some uh, outdoor grapes and kiwis and they're gonna grow up on the southwest side of the Willow Tunnel all the way up to over the top and um, uh, it's going to make for a nice trellis it's going to great for the pollinators as well and we're going to get some fruit out of it too might as well use all the vertical space you can and it never needs to be replaced with um, with something I made of wood or whatever because it's actually alive it's a living Willow Arch so only thing is, a little bit of pruning here and there, which I'll show you now. Got a secretaire's here. Here's the secretaire's. Hang on. So. so, for example, some of these shoots here, that's kind of grown inwards. We just simply cut that off. Sometimes you can just push them out, like so. Helps them be more dense as well. Here's another one, kind of grown inwards. Just cut that off. There's another. Just to keep it um, nice and comfortable for walking through. There's another. There's an old branch that broke off. Let me just cut that back. Here's one on the top. Can you see that there? That's basically, I mean, just 10 minutes of pruning a year is all I do here. After the springtime, just to keep it clear. And uh, most of the growth happens on the outside, as you can see here. And that's perfectly fine. I mean, um, it doesn't really get out of hand. All you do is cut it back in the winter time and use the cuttings elsewhere. 
or if you want to you can always cut it back in the summertime as I said earlier and use it as a, a biomass accumulator and make compost from the wooden leaves right, that's the summer update on the willow arch and our little willow tunnel if you're um, interested in learning more about planting willows we have a video on that too it's obviously made in the winter and um, we also uh, have cuttings available uh, in the winter time as well if you're interested in planting your own willow arches it's really easy and if you have any questions let us know in the comments thanks a million bye bye